Okay, so the very first thing I noticed is that uh, when you play through this, right here on this part of the bounce, the it, the ball bounces backwards, right? So let's see, right there. Okay, so look at this arc. Okay, so the ball was coming this way, and then when and then all of a sudden it bounced back the same, like in the opposite direction, right? Uh, which it shouldn't have done. What it should be doing is it's it's getting a mixture of going up and going out that way, right? So what you need to do is uh, this frame right there needs to be more like about right here, right? Because then it'll follow kind of an arc path rather than going like this. See what I'm saying? And uh, so that's that's giving messing up the fill of the animation big time. That's the that's the biggest problem. And the same thing happens right over here. You see, the ball goes up and backwards a little bit. It's not quite as bad, but it still does it. And then here, all of a sudden, it starts rounding off again. Right. So you need to look out for that. It needs to be more like that. Okay. So uh, then the other thing that I would suggest doing is uh, change the spacing of these a little bit more. Um, I can see that you were uh, you did have it go a little bit slower towards the top, but I would say exaggerate that a little bit. It'll give your animation some more life. So for example, this one would go about right here, you know, maybe have it a little bit stretched out. And then this second one would go here, and then the third one would go like this, and then finally you'd have your top one, which is right here, right? and then you would have another one here another one here and then you'd have your stretched out one and then you'd have this down here right and then it would start over you'd have another stretched one one here and so on okay so uh, another thing I would do is experiment giving your your ball doing squash and stretch right so we talked about stretching out this first one right as it comes off the ground it's going really fast so you stretch it out to make it look like if it's moving faster and then uh, you also flatten out the, this one down here you can draw it like that or something like that you know it's up to you however you want it to look mess around and see what looks the best but uh, but if you add those three things change the spacing a little bit bunch them up towards the top a little bit closer uh, get yourself a better arc and then uh, do some squash and stretch with these and these and uh, you should be good to go.